Yo, we got a video here today, and we've got three clips, and we're going to start off with the Italian. Let's get right into it. Someone needs to let me know if I am the only one that has noticed that men are not like how they were when our parents were growing up. Like, I grew up, I don't know if it's because, like, the Italian values or what, like, I grew up, like, the man is supposed to take care of the woman. Let me just translate. The guys aren't... Beta! They're not paying for as much stuff. They're not bringing flowers. They're not bringing chocolates, among other things. The the man is supposed to go up to the girls. Like, the, the man is supposed to have drive and initi initiate everything. Like, I feel like now... <laughs> Everything. It's so hard to find guys that, like, even just in general, have drive in life. Like, I feel like it's so different. And I don't know. Like, I There's a larger issue at play. You've got guys that feel alienated. They feel excluded. That they're not welcome in certain areas. And that's why in some of these Western countries, you've got teenagers taking the rope. Going out a little early in life, not even close to peaking. They haven't even begun their prime and they're already saying game over. What's what's the point? What's the purpose? I just like, never get approached. I never. Maybe something's wrong with me. I don't know. But like. Maybe. I, I feel like then like whenever I like talk about it, everyone's like, oh, well, they, they want the girl to like go up to them. Like wh what? When did this change? When did this change? Because I want... That sounds like the 70s. Isn't that the um, sort of counter-argument is, oh, you just want to go back to the... Se That's them projecting they don't want to go back to the 70s. You're still, like, we as guys, nothing changed. We're still expected to be the breadwinners. We're expected to pay. Even though everyone's able to go to work, everyone's able to score high on the maths exam doesn't matter pay up big guy i want a man i don't want to be the man someone come up to me <laughs> anyways i just feel like there's no manly men i just don't think so i think every guy i've met is like honestly super emotional and that's fine like i'm all about feelings it isn't clearly they like to say that share your emotions be emotional uh -uh. be very careful how you want to expose that whatever like i'm an emotional person so like that's okay but i feel like oh, it's definitely like sometimes worse than girls like i'm not even kidding like it's crazy anyways so if anyone knows if manly men still exist let me know or if i'm the only one that thinks they don't i don't know yeah if there's any doormats willing to uh you know be a walking atm Beta. Let her know. Give her the number to the uh, to the area. So now we move on to the question for chat. What is peace? You know, what is calm serenity? You tell me. All right, guys. So I have a question. Um, I've What's been on social media quite a bit, kind of researching this concept of peace that men um, say they want from women. Fellas, can you break it down for me? When you say peace, what is it that you really mean? Like truth. I thought it'd be pretty simple. You wouldn't have to do hours and scour, you know, documentaries on what peace is. I mean, there it is. He just wanted to drink a few peer, beers in peace. I mean, heaven forbid, right? Might have worked a 12-hour day. Might have worked a 60-hour week. Pulled some overtime. Maybe you just want to relax. Maybe a bit of peace and quiet. You know, the opposite at the bottom there is noise irritation maybe cut the nagging but good luck with that one truly peace is something that's internal so when you say you want a woman to be your peace do you have peace are you a peaceful person or are you asking to experience the peace that a woman has internally and are you providing a space for her to be peaceful i don't know i really none of that sounded peaceful Quite frankly, it sounded like a bunch of sort of passive aggressive demands for having high standards. And I guess you should be striving for certain things. But again, it just goes back to just a bit of peace and quiet, just a little serenity. And then we can get to the, uh, you know, the hustle and bustle of the working week once again. 
want to talk about it because the answers that I'm seeing are answers like, um, she doesn't nag. She doesn't question me. Okay. I don't know if that's peace or not. It doesn't sound, <laughs> sound. Well, it might not be peace, but it was, it actually was one of the opposites of peace was you didn't want irritation. You didn't want noise. You actually wanted some quietness, some hush, solitude, silence, seclusion, privacy, stillness, noiselessness. I mean, how much clearer can you get? But this takes literally five seconds to just put in Google, but apparently she's the expert of making some things even more complicated than they have to be. I'm peaceful. It just sounds like you want to not be held accountable. I don't know. Let's talk about it. Ladies sound off. Guys, tell me when you say you want peace, what does that really mean? Let's talk about it in the chat. I'll meet you there. Um, it means don't overcomplicate things. How about that? How about we start off with try not to pretend that you don't know what it means to then make a discussion on trying to explain what something that everyone knows. Everyone knows what a bit of calmness means. But make sure you hit that like button on the way out. We're going to close out here on the final clip. Being married as a single mama. Let's get right into it. Being a married single mom. This is something I feel like that is not talked about enough. I lived this life for five years. And a lot of people will say, well, if you're married, how can you be a single mom? Let me tell you how. Let's go. You have a partner that goes to work all day, correct? And then they come home and they do nothing. Because Why are you so focused on that? What are you doing throughout the whole day if you don't have to be the one going out to work? And we're back to TikTok, unfortunately. And they love talking with their hands. They love waving their hands around. They go to work all day. That's their job. So if you're a stay-at-home mom, your job never ends. And you never have any help. You do the kids by yourself. Yeah, of course not. They never have any time while the modern um, appliances and washing machines are, are going that they can watch all of their Netflix and all of their crime and psychological dramas, any of their keeping up with the Kardashians. They can dance to music. They can stuff their face with food. Now, they're, they're just working 24 hours a day. They're, they're following the uh, horse and carriage around. Yourself, you cook by yourself, you clean by yourself, you do bedtime by yourself, even though you have a partner present. If you do work, you also work all day. And then you come home and do all of the cleaning, all of the cooking, bath. It doesn't matter if you're the stay at home mom or if you're working, you're a victim. They're not doing enough. That's what it comes down to is that you're not doing enough, fellas, father, whoever, whoever's watching this right now. You're not doing enough. You should be doing more. We could have a more luxurious lifestyle if you worked even more hours. And then when you came home, you did all the things around the house like a handyman. That's bedtime all by yourself. This is a problem. And I have way too many mom friends that I know that live this same exact life. And men will say, oh, well... I work all day. Okay, so you get to clock out and come home. When does she get to clock out? When does when the baby's asleep? When the lasagna's in the oven? When the washing machine has got the load in? When the dishwasher's got its load in? There's plenty of little times that they're... They want to pretend like they're just on their feet all day. Like they're working in the uh, caves and the stone mines. No way. It's actually ridiculous. But it it didn't matter whether they were at home or at work. They were a victim nonetheless. It's actually quite uh, remarkable. Her job end. Never ends. It is not one person's responsibility to clean the house that you live in together. It is not one person's responsibility to take care of the kids you made. True. It's not one person's responsibility to pay the grocery bill or to pay the electricity or to pay the mortgage or the rent it's not one person and, and and a lot of the times now because of the economy there is a combined income maybe it's 50 50 maybe it's 70 30 but on average they are working in the real world world more hours 
and they want to think that they're important too, they're special too, so their time at home is worth double your time at work. Together. It is not one person's job to wash the clothes that you wore. Kids, house, you're supposed to be a team, you're supposed to be a unit. Being a married single mom. And people are. They are a team and a unit. They're putting in money. How do you think that washing machine even turns around? How does that laundry, that detergent that goes in it, where does it come from? Who's who's paying for all of these things? I mean, it's great that people are doing chores around the house, helping out while while another person is working in the real world. But I don't know. They just want some some more thank yous, maybe a nice little kiss at night. Mom is the loneliest, toughest, awful position to be in. And for all my mamas that are living this life right now, my heart goes out to you because I did it. I'm never going to tell someone to leave their marriage, but tell your partner to step up because it's not fair to you and that's not the way you should live your life. That house is yours together. So she's divorced, I guess. So her advice is nag your husbands even more. Tell them to do even more work. They're not doing enough. It's never enough, it seems. Those kids are yours together. Take care of it together. Side note, if you need an emotional support water cup like I do and you would love an awesome Stanley knockoff, this one's linked right here in my TikTok shop for less than $7. Remember, spread kindness like wildflowers. If you need an emotional support cup to help you, uh, you know, put your pants on in the morning. But anyway, gents, we're going to leave a ride there. As always, thoughts, comments, but low and hit down the like hit that like on the way out it takes 1.5 seconds and smash that subscribe button right now it's free free of charge on the house and we'll see you on the next one peace out